interested in showing you a little bit of a review on how to add shadowing to text, but I also want to add a shadow to an element or an object here in Vista Create um, using the free version of Vista Create. So first, let's just review um, cupcakes. I have that selected. I might want to go to effects. And there we've learned that there's a shadowing effect in how big, far away it is from, I just brought that, it was pretty far out. I wanna bring that in because I'm using a skinny font, how big the blur you want to be, and how far away from the letters you want it to be. So you can add and mess with the, the different um, angles of the, the shadowing that is on the letters of this. But um, we kind of learned that in a previous lesson. So that was a review. I'm interested in searching for an object as a cupcake. And it might take a minute for me to find uh, the right cupcake. But if I click on one, um, I'm looking for one of these cupcakes and and they might all have this in, in here, but this works for me. Um, I have this cupcake and it has the coloring effect up here, which is what I want. So at this point, I'm going to add a page. And I have a second page, but I need to flip to the first one because I'm going to actually just copy this first one paste it on the second page and bear with me. I'll show you why I'm doing this. Um, I have a white background on this duplicated page. This one has some coloring on it. This one's solid white. But now I want to click on this cupcake because I need to change these colors so that they all are black. I need them to be black and you'll see where I'm going with this. So I changed it all to have that black color, all four of the colors that were there. And I am going to download the second page. I don't need the first one. I want a JPEG and I just want the second page so I can mess with this later. So it's downloading the file right now. While it's downloading, I'm going to point out this web, other web, the tab that I have here at the top. And the tab is remove background from image. So while I was talking about it, this downloaded this cupcake, the black cupcake downloaded. I'm going to drag this to this little upload image area because I want to remove all of the white background from it, which it did. And it left me with this black cupcake, which now I want to re-download. So I want to download the new version without the white background. So just downloaded that. I'm going to go back to Vista Create. And I don't need the second page anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Go back to my first page where I'm going to upload the brand new image. Give it a moment to upload here. I'm going to click on it. So it adds it to my document and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than my original one. So I'm kind of, where'd it go? Yeah, just a little bit bigger. So, all right, so I, where, where am I going with this? So now that I have this uploaded, there's an edit image button, which wasn't there before, because I can't have, I don't have that same thing with this original cupcake. I don't have that edit image. But now with this black and white image, I do have the ability to hit edit. And with edit, there's a whole lot of different options that you get right at the beginning, but I want to go to the advanced settings where I want to blur this up a little bit. I'm also going to come over here to this opacity button or transparency button. Bring that down a little bit. I might want to try some of these other settings until I get it where I want it to be. And then this shadow is under the letter, so I kind of want to do the same thing here. Off-kilt it a little bit. And then 
my last step is to send it to the back. So I'm going to bring backwards. So now it's behind the cupcake and um, I have that shadowing effect going on here with the cupcake, which I want. I do see that I lost my blue background that I had in the beginning. So I do want to search for a mask. And I just picked that mask that you just saw me pick. And I'm going to change the color to this blue color and send that to the back. So I have this nice little shadowing effect and I would do some things a little bit differently now that I see I didn't really look through the cupcakes very well but I would maybe want to pick one that has fill in the middle because I don't like the overlapping effect but that's the idea on how to create a shadowing effect with an object um, but it's a free version of Vista so you do have to use a secondary website in order to make it all happen so that's a little bit of a trick the loophole around it.